Hi everyone, this is quite an important little test for you to do, a little bit of preparation that sits alongside the pressure test video that I've done for you. This is for mostly when you're working on pastel mat or a sanded or textured paper. Now, I often talk about working dark to light and this is something I say I teach this at the start of my workshops and it's something that's become more and more important and if you do it um, I've just noticed that at workshops those that do this little test at the beginning have very much a good understanding of what we're trying to achieve by working dark to light about repeating our layers and about how many times we can repeat our layers it's really good to show you as well how colours mix and blend as well as the tonal uh, mixing of dark to light and how many times you can do it on the pastel mat with confidence and still have plenty of tooth left in the paper so what I've done is I've just marked out so this is a sheet of the anthracite which is the darkest of the greys and a sheet of the white pastel mat and what I do is I get um, I get my students I'm going to start off I'm going to use really obvious I'm going to go black up to a mid-tone of an indanthrim blue and then we're going to go over with a white and what you do is if you've done the pressure test this is a pressure about three so quite a, a light to medium pressure Let's stick my paper down a little bit more either side and what you're going to do is I've got two squares here it's only like three centimeters square you can do it slightly smaller if you like um, you don't have to draw squares out it just means that on the left hand side you can have a control square on the right hand side we're going to prove and show how many layers you can build up and how much you can mix and blend so pressure three pressure three to four so a light to medium pressure and take it all the way across from left to right if you're left-handed or you work better right to left do it that way so now I'm going to go over the top same pressure with indanthrim blue We're going to do exactly the same in the bottom half as well with um, on the white paper. So now as I go over with same pressure using my white, as soon as you put the white down or a light tonal colour, you'll see all that gritty tooth come to the fore. So we're not going to touch this side anymore now. You'll notice we've got uh, three layers down there approximately of the three colour pencils. What we're going to do over this side, because this is again where people get nervous, they work up to their light really early on and they're, they're afraid then to take it back to dark. So we're going to come in over the top with our black. And every time we do this, because we're only using light to medium pressure, we'll gradually get, thinking about that, the tooth has been mountains and valleys. The mountains grip our pencil and the valleys the pigment sinks into you see here just after two goes that is now starting to become a little bit more refined a little bit smoother less grainy and we just keep repeating so that's I'm going to keep note we've done that twice now so back in over the top same pressure, don't be tempted just to go in and press super hard because all you'll do is crush your mountains, remember, and ruin the tooth of your paper. So back in there with the blue. And this is quite a crude way of doing this, but it's a quick and effective way to show you exactly what we mean about working dark to light. And you can see there now, as soon as you put the light on, yep, it looks grainy but it's a lot smoother and you can see the colours mixing together as well so back again, oh that was the third time, so back in again I'm not pressing hard, I'm just still using that same pressure and until you put the white on, that is actually looking really smooth But I go on again and it's still looking 
grainy. I'm just going to zoom in just so you can just see that a little bit more. You can see the grain on the left. It's still starting to smooth out on the right hand side, but it's still looking really grainy. So that's four times. So that's 12 layers. So black. And we've got our pencils possibly a little bit sharper than we would do with this. I, I tend to go in with blunt pencils for the initial colour blocking stages. Starting to smooth a little bit more, but still nowhere near where we want it. So that's five times. So back in again. And you will also find, as you're doing this, um, with my tutorials I'll say that you know you, you continue, you don't start to sharpen your pencils up and put in detail until you've got this wonderful build up of pigment, lovely thick creamy layer and you'll start to feel that as well when you're doing this process. You'll start to build up and start to suddenly feel creamy and smooth and buttery and until you feel that you won't understand exactly what it is I mean. So that's six times that we've done that now. So back again again. And this is the difference between something that looks okay to something that looks beautiful and soft and smooth. It's how many layers you push on through. So we're up to seven now. And still, it's looking grainy. Now every time you go back in over the top with a dark colour, it starts to look really smooth. It's only when you go in over the top with that light colour that light tone, using the white in this case because it's more obvious, that's when we see the grain is still showing through. <sighs> Back in over here now. Still looking grainy. Let's just zoom in to see. So you can see Here's our original roughness. Here it's still looking a little bit grainy. So I'm going to carry on. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I missed one. I thought we were up to nine. Okay, that's eight. So let's go on. This is number nine. And this should, if you've not used pastel mat or sanded paper or textured paper before, this should give you some confidence when we say keep putting layers down. And you're thinking, oh, I can't, I can't, I'm afraid to. And this is the thing I find with my students the most, they're just nervous. They have to learn to trust the pastel mat. And me. <laughs> and themselves. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back in again. Now I can start to see by eye now that this is beginning to feel a little bit better. And again, this is how we mix and blend colours as well. So rather than just going in and matching a really um, this colour blue with one pencil, build it with three. Okay, so that's up to ten now. So I'm going to do a couple more. So if I leave it there, I've got a nice bluish undertone to the black. <sighs> and then 
back in again with our white. So that's 11 times. In other words, that's 36 layers because we've used three pencils 12 times. And this is just, again, I'd still this would just be under under um, painting for me. This would just be colour blocking and um, getting your tonal values and your colours and mixing. Not your details. You can put your sharpen up your pencils and come in with your details. Later on. So I'm starting to see a difference and also just starting to now feel a difference as well. It's starting to go on a little bit smoother and creamier and slicker. So that's 13. I'm going to take it up to 15, I think. about you must use sharp tip of your pencil to get it to go no not with pastel mat <sighs> not for your underpainting I don't think you do so this is gonna be my last layer now so when I add the white in a second that will be layer 45 <laughs> um, which sounds crazy but we'll do it on the white below as well and I'll speed up when I do it on the white but you can see now it's still mixing and blending it's just starting to smooth go on a lot smoother now okay so let's zoom in again so now you can see it's still a little bit too we can carry on doing this but we've still got tooth left in there but to the naked eye um, that is going down now nice and smoothly, much smoother than obviously the first couple of layers over here. And anyone who's got any worries about not being able to go in over the top, you basically you simply just go in, you, you can go over the top and you can see this is still grainy here so you still need to put a lot more layers down um, but there's not a problem with still going in with a sharp pencil over the top and creating more you know your, your detail work over the top so for me I'd say I'd probably take that another five times so that'd be up to 20 layers and um, 20 times that you've done it dark to light with those three colors so in theory that's 60 layers there that you've already done with the pencil so when people say 20 layers that's nothing because that's what I've just done to the eye with this little test video so I'm going to move down now and I'm going to do exactly the same down here on the white but what I'll do is I'll just do the first let's do the first one because it'll just show up slightly differently on the white I'll get the first layers down and then I'll speed 
speed the video up and then come back to you just at the end on that layer 15. If we get to 15 because there's different tooth on the white than there is on the anthracite. And until we've done this, we won't know how much tooth we've got on this particular sheet. Okay, so zoom in slightly again so you can just see the difference in the tooth. Okay, so I'll speed up now and I'll come back to you, like I say, right at the last couple of layers of the 15 times 3 pencils. Um, 15 times 3 is not 60 layers, is it? No, it's 45 layers, but I would take it up to 20 layers, 20 times 3 pencil, which would be 60 normally. Okay. Hi everyone. Okay, I've come back a little bit earlier here. We're up to eight times that we've done this pencil here on the white paper. Now, as I mentioned, the tooth, the surface of the white, the lighter shades, is less toothy or grainy or grit than the darker shades. So you'll find if you work on the dark shades like the anthracite, it will demand more layers. So this is ninth time I've done this pass with the pencils and I would say we're at the same level on nine times here on the bottom as we were at 15 times on the top. If anything it's smoothing out faster. So I'm going to take this up to 10 times. So in other words it's two-thirds the amount of pencil um, or two thirds amount of work needed on the white as there is on the anthracite. But that wasn't the intention to reveal that to you on this short little video. It was more just to show how you work dark to light, how you can mix your colours um, dark to light, and also the difference between three layers and here we have got 30 layers on the right hand side we've done that 10 times with those three pencils so i hope that helps um, and again just to show you just come in over the top and that those lines are actually going on a lot smoother 
then those ones at the top where at the top I can still see the grain so again you probably take that up to 20 layers this one at the bottom you can take get away with taking it up to 10 layers or 10 times with the three pencils so 30 layers at the bottom on the white 60 layers on the anthracite at the top so if you're working on the dark paper it looks amazing but yes you do need to put in even more hard work than um, you would do using the lighter shades of the pastel map Okay, I hope that helps and I hope you've learned something and thank you very much for watching and if you have learned something please do just hit the subscribe button just down there in the corner. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye.